Sophia Charles. Ariana Kuzla TV. Michaela Royer. Shadila LeBlanc. Talisha Lou. Sasha Maxwell. Karel Joseph. Candice Nelson. <laughs> Alicia Lewis, Kristen Bruno, Briannica Talbot. Jamelia Hill. <laughs> Anila Esprit. <laughs> Adalia Regis. Ciara Andrew. <laughs> Kimani Corbett. <laughs> Markelia John Baptist. Leonette Rodriguez Toledo. Adiola Xavier. Rene Blaise, fortunately Rene Blaise who had to migrate to the UK is with us today virtually. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the class, graduating class of 2022. We are privileged to have here with us the representative for the Minister of Education, Honorable Gregory Reveal, as he addresses us.
Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony, His Excellency Charles Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, and Mrs. Savre, School Chaplain Monsignor William John Lewis, Mrs. Josephine Dublin, Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Principal Staff of the Convent High School, Mrs. Jody Dublin Dangben, featured speaker, Justice Wynand Gabriel Roberts, all our parents who are here, and I want to recognize in a very special way my very good friend, Mr. Tyson Johnson, whose daughter has been graduating today. I want to recognize the media, our well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, but, and last but not least, our graduating class 2022. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Certainly, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize sincerely for the absence of the Honorable Minister, who is unable to be here with us due to some unforeseen circumstances. However, Honorable Minister extends her warmest congratulations and best wishes to your school, and in particular, the graduating class of 2022. I myself, I am extremely delighted to be here to celebrate your achievement on this blessed day. I wish to congratulate you for having made it thus far in your academic career and for achieving the further distinction of meeting the graduating criteria of your school. This tells me that all of you who are gathered here have approached your work with discipline and determination, a winning attitude that has led you to celebrate on this particular day. Celebrate with your parents, with your teachers, and with your well-wishers. I commend the parents for providing you with the necessary encouragement and support in ensuring that you reach thus far. And I think we need to give the parents a real rousing round of applause. I also want to commend in a very special way the principal and teachers of the convent high school. You have consistently performed with distinction over the years to ensure that the Convent High School remains the top performing school in this country. And for that, we want to applaud you. <laughs> Certainly, I think you need to share the recipe or share the formula with the rest of the country because we are very, very encouraged by what is happening at the convent high school. Graduates, the hard work, the hard work it took to get to this stage cannot be made light of. At a time when many of our youth are facing challenges, too many to mention, you have beaten the odds. You have shown that there is potential among our young people. You have silenced the critics, those who continue to clothe our youth with negatives. Yes, you have demonstrated in a most profound way that there is hope for this country. And, of course, the youth, you are ready to make a positive difference in the life of this nation. And for that, I commend you. While you may not want to dwell too much on the past, as your theme, your theme suggests, you deserve to take some time to revel the success of your years at secondary school. For many of you, 
this will involve some lasting memories. I must say that there is much wisdom in your theme, soaring onwards from adversity to achievement. It calls on you to be mindful that this is just one achievement of many, many which are due to you as you continue to apply, if you continue to apply the amount of determination to move to higher heights. Their adversities and challenges will always come your way. But if you have those qualities that you were taught at the convent high school, you are destined to succeed. It also suggests that the future is promising if you apply yourself. Even though you are surrounded by much global economic challenges brought on by worldwide reality of conflicts, poverty, global imbalances, even the Ukraine war, global health crisis, rising inflation, and a shrinking economy globally, your future is still in your hands. Therefore, if you pledge to work hard and take advantage of opportunities available to you, then you have a good chance of building a future for you and your family. Many of you may choose to pursue higher education, while others may seek the job market. Remember, whatever you do, wherever you go, be cognizant of the fact that your attitude will determine your altitude. So put to practice the moral values that you were taught here at the convent high school. Pray, and I mean pray without ceasing, putting God first in everything that you do. Show love for country, respect authority, respect yourselves, and respect others. Exhibit discipline, honesty, tolerance, humility, and fear play at all times. These are among the values that will propel you to higher heights. Make no mistake about it. Knowledge, skills, and talent can get you there, but you need the right attitude to keep you up there. Graduates, the Ministry of Education, by extension the government of Dominica, stand poised to provide you with the necessary support to make your academic dream a reality. One of the ways we have sought to do this is through the free tuition at the Dominica State College, giving every child a fair chance. As a government, we firmly believe that one's socioeconomic status should not be an impediment to attaining quality education in this country. As such, every child is granted an opportunity, for we want no child left behind. At our secondary schools, we are creating more opportunities for learners to succeed through the inclusion of more technical and vocational subjects offering on our school curricula. The new Dominica Grammar School will serve as a model, a model center for technical vocation, for technical and vocational education and training, TVET. Resources will be made available to boost this program at secondary schools. This is significant, ladies and gentlemen, because our students will continue to enhance their skills, which will make them more competitive in an ever-changing global environment. There are opportunities for tertiary education under our scholarship programs. And of course, we have quite a number of friendly countries that continue to offer us um, scholarships. At the same time, we have our government financial assistance programs that you can take advantage of. As it is often said, to whom much is given, much is expected. Graduates, you have received a sound education at your alma mater, which has helped to shape you into the people that you are today. 
do not forget your roots. Indeed, I implore you to use your past to shape your future. Always draw on the knowledge, skills, and experience that you gain here at the convent high school. If by chance you must leave, be an ambassador out there. And I ask that you return as quickly as possible to help to contribute to nation building. Ah, some people are laughing. <laughs> Certainly, I am also asking when you leave here, you have to get busy. Get busy because the devil always finds work for idle hands to do. And like the performers reminded us earlier, we have to mind our own business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I close, let us ponder on the lyrics of a four-time Calypso king of Dominica. Reach for the skies. You can make it if you try. With education and skills, determination and will, you have the ability to reach anywhere you want to be. So reach. Reach. You can make it. Just believe it. Get some energy. Craft your destiny and reach wherever you want to be. Class of 20, end of quote. I must quote because otherwise I might be ch charged for plagiarism. <laughs> end of quote. Lord Caressa. <laughs> Class of 2022, be bold, be courageous, be the best that you can be. Remember every challenge is an opportunity to grow and improve. Embracing adversity can lead to success. Again, I congratulate you. May God bless you, may God bless your school, and may God bless the Commonwealth of Dominica. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister Gregory Rivier. I'd also like to extend thanks to Monsignor Williams, John Lewis, for handing out diplomas earlier. And at this time, we will be entertained by the Form 5 Sign Language members. Well, well, it all began in 2017 when a group of young, bright ladies walked through the Convent High School gates. 
CHS gave us fantastic opportunities to show off our amazing talents through extracurricular activities and we decided to audition for the Umoja CHS Sign Language Club. Luckily, we were chosen and our lives have changed for the better. We were able to make lifelong friends to hone our skills whilst developing new ones. Every one of the 15 departing sunshines present today are grateful for being a part of Umoja. Despite facing many challenges over the years, we managed to succeed in the end. As we leave CHS, we are presenting you with our final performance here. Our achievements through this club was all due to Miss Leandra Lando, who we sincerely appreciate.
Well done, girls. We are certainly going to miss some of these energetic personalities at CHS. <laughs> Convent High School offers 18 subjects at the fifth form level. And this afternoon, we present awards to students who have demonstrated excellence of at least 90% or who topped in their particular subject areas. In addition, an award is presented to students who have displayed steady application over the year and have a perfect attendance. Students are also recognized in areas of leadership, conduct, department, and the club involvement. We thank Mrs. Severe for her presence and for agreeing to present these prizes to some of the students. Jacinta Grant. She gets awards for biology, information technology, mathematics, Spanish, the award for excellence in sports and academics donated by Mrs. Celia Nicholas, creative writing, good conduct, house leadership, communication club, ICT club, netball, Science Club. <laughs> Kurdian Tavernier. <laughs> Biology, Good Conduct and Dance. Jamil Guy. For H Club. Kenaya Sones. Award for entrepreneurship and creativity to the students who exhibit creative skills and has an appreciation for entrepreneurship donated by Holidays 767. Good conduct, school spirit, house leadership, and dance. Can I assume? Gabriella Napoles O'Canyon. Biology, chemistry, history, information technology, mathematics, religion, Spanish, perfect attendance, good conduct, house leadership, dance, and ICT club. JL Laurent. Prizes for Biology, EDPM, Perfect Attendance, School Spirit, Perpetual Health Program, Choir, Credit Union Nets, and the Environmental Club. <laughs> Annalisa Hunter. <laughs> Geography. Leandra Lander Award for Outstanding Performance in Geography to the student with the highest average donated by Miss Leandra Lander. Award for Outstanding Discipline, Cooperation and Academics to the student who has displayed leadership skills, high level of responsibility, average to above average academic yearly, above average academic yearly average, 
School and Class Spirit, donated by Jays Limited. The Trudy Christian Award for Excellence in Public Speaking, donated by Ms. Trudy Christian. Perfect Attendance, Good Conduct, School Spirit, Cooperation, House Leadership, Communications Club, Credit Unionet, ICT Club, and Sign Language, Annalisa Hunter. <laughs> Kalia Toussaint. Good Conduct Science Club. <laughs> Shauna Bellot. <laughs> Perfect Attendance, Good Conduct. Kehana Bla. Good Conduct Credit Unionet Dance Science Club. Sienna Aline. Steady Application, PHP, and Sign Language. Oquana St. Rose, Girl of Club. Sarai Andre, Good Conduct and Science Club. Anessa Badwill, Steady Application. Girl of Club, ICT Club, Science Club. <laughs> Felicia Birmingham, Science Club. <laughs> Romina Joseph, <laughs> Biology. <laughs> Deborah Fortune Award for Character and Ethics for the student who displayed character and ethics throughout her academic career, donated by La Falaise House. Award for emotional intelligence for the student who was able to display a level of empathy to her contemporaries and able to control her emotions. Control her emotions and or situational challenges donated by doctors Lyris and Griffin Benjamin. Perfect attendance, good conduct, house leadership, perpetual health program, 4-H club, drama, science club, and speech chorale. Jada Francis. Information technology, house leadership, science club, volleyball. Manisha Thomas, <laughs> Environmental Club, Girl Up Club, Science Club. <laughs> Samantha Piper, <laughs> Steady Application, Good Conduct, Drama, and ICT Club. Kaliani Schillingford. Good Conduct, Girl Up Club, Science Club. Kiera Walsh, Girl Up Club. Colleen Francis, Credit Unionet, Dance, Science Club. (laughs) 
Taekwondo Davis. <laughs> Steady application, perfect attendance, good conduct, dance, girl up club, science club. Michaelis Lewis. <laughs> Human and social biology, good conduct, dance, and girl up club. <laughs> Duana Greenaway. <laughs> good conduct, house leadership, girl up club, and netball. Kiana Etienne, <laughs> award for exemplary conduct and steady application donated by the 1994 graduating class of the CHS. Steady application, good conduct, house leadership, dance, environmental club, speech chorale, science club. <laughs> Jada Lanz. The F.A. Barron STEM Award for the student who has displayed a marked improvement in STEM, STEM subjects donated by the Barron family and a perpetual help program. Shaquana Birmingham. Steady application, perfect attendance, good conduct. Dance and Science Club. Jamarian Gordon. <laughs> Award for determination in geography to the student who showed interest and was strongly motivated through her active participation in class donated by the 2000 and 2002 geography graduating class of the Convent High School. Award. <laughs> Award for steady application donated by the 1987 graduating class of the CHS. Steady application, good conduct, perfect attendance, girl up club, sign language, and that was Jamari and Gordon. <laughs> Emily Fedel. <laughs> Biology, house leadership, Girl Up Club, Science Club, Sign Language. <laughs> Megan Menz. <laughs> Biology, 4-H Club, Communications Club, Environmental Club, Perpetual Health Program, Photography and Science Club. Ulysia John Baptist, 4-H Club and Choir. Sheila Thomas, <laughs> award for business and ICT to the student with the highest average in principles of business and or accounts, as well as ICT donated by Sister Hilda Verdonk. 4-H Club, <laughs> Choir, Credit Union Ed, Dance, and Girl Up Club. Sade Central, 4-H Club. Adele Pascal, Biology, 4-H Club, Science Club, Sign Language. <laughs> Julicia Barron. <laughs> Julissa Barron. <laughs> Steady application and netball. Dellen Daniel, Science Club. <laughs> 4-H 
followed by Alicia Desiree. <laughs> House Leadership, 4-H Club, Credit Union Net, Dance and Netball. <laughs> Ayoka Adonis. <laughs> Science Club. Zaria Lloyd. <laughs> Biology, top in business, donated by business professional women, perfect attendance, good conduct, cooperation, science club. Jade Johnson. Music, school spirit, <laughs> Zara Deshose, <laughs> award for most improved in English, donated by 1987 graduating class of the CHS, steady application, credit union at environmental club, girl of club. We thank Mrs. Savre for assisting in the distribution of prizes and awards. Thank you. We now invite Mrs. Dublin Dangobin to present. <laughs> Selena Pinat. Award for innovation and creativity to the student who displayed creative ideas, able to develop ideas into a final product, donated by Mrs. Jody Dublin Dangobin. <laughs> Steady application, house leadership, perpetual health program, 4-H club, credit union net, girl up club, ICT club, science club, sign language. <laughs> Serena Ordin. <laughs> English Literature. Dorothy Levy Award for Outstanding Performance in Languages to the student who has excelled in literature along with a foreign language donated by Mrs. Dorothy Levy. Choir, Girl Up Club, and Volleyball. Kijani Ali, Science Club. <laughs> Latisha Alexander, Science Club. <laughs> Estesia Laville. House Leadership, Dance, Environmental Club, Girl Up Club, Science Club. <laughs> Rachel Pond, Steady Application. <laughs> Brielle Charles, 4-H Club and Science Club. Rihanna Joseph, House Leadership, 4-H Club, Science Club. The award for civic-mindedness to the student whose action or activities are motivated by a show of concern for the public, good, overall involvement in school life, Donated by Mrs. Alex Boyd Knight, 
And another award for school spirit goes to Faith Timothy. Maricia Christopher. Prizes for awards for physics, house leadership. Credit Unionet and Sign Language. Receiving awards for perfect attendance, cooperation, house leadership, Credit Unionet, Netball Science Club, and Sign Language, Zaya Coopel. For steady application, good conduct, cooperation, communications club, netball, and science club, Zana Joseph. <laughs> For steady application, house leadership, credit union net, environmental club, Girl Up Club, Netball, Science Club, Speech Choral, and Volleyball, La Veda, Liverpool. <laughs> For Biology, Perpetual Health Program, Environmental Club, and Science Club, Shula Sira. <laughs> and Devana Roberts for ICT Club. Ariel Ford for Sign Language. The Lolita Raffle Award for Determination and Perseverance to the student who showed persistence in achieving despite challenges, physical, social, emotional, donated by Ms. Lolita Raffel, and the science club goes to Marie Yolanda Newton. The award for outstanding performance in discipline, cooperation, and academics to the student who has displayed leadership skills, high level of responsibility, average to above average academic yearly average, school and class spirit donated by Convent High School, also for steady application, school spirit, cooperation, house leadership, credit union net, Dance, Girl Up Club, Sign Language goes to Sherlyn Josie. <laughs> For Biology, Conduct, Girl Up Club, and Science Club, Deidre Charles. The Rodney Isidore John Lewis Memorial Award for the most improved student to the most academically improved student based on academic performance over the fourth and fifth form year donated by the Lewis family, good conduct, school spirit, cooperation, choir, ICT club, and photography, Samara Stevens. <laughs> For House Leadership, Girl Up Club, and Speech Choral, Rayanne Bellas. <laughs> For Biology, Good Conduct, School Spirit, Cooperation, Science Club, and Sign Language, Farah Rui. Spanish, Girl Up Club, and Science Club, Sapphire Charles. <laughs> mm. 
most promising business student donated by business professional women. Georgie's Award for Geography Determination. Perseverance and geography ideal to the student who displayed greatest improvement over the two years. Behavior, grades, and class preparation donated by Mrs. Tahisha Hill Guy. Award for academia, extracurricular, deportment, and class spirit to the students who carries the school uniform with distinction. Hard worker and cooperative student donated by Mrs. Bertha Tulo and the CHS 1987 graduating class. Steady application, perfect attendance, good conduct, house leadership, 4-H club, sign language to Ariana Cools Lati. <laughs> Michaela Royer, Biology. Shadila Libla, Science Club. For Human and Social Biology, Principles of Accounts, Principles of Business, the Award for Excellence in Accounts to the student with the highest academic average and or passion for principles of accounts, donated by the Central Cooperative Credit Union. The Harris Paints Award for Excellence in Business to the student with the highest business average, donated by the Harris Paints Dominica Limited, 4-H Club, Girl Up Club, and Volleyball, Talisha Lowe. For biology, history, mathematics, Spanish, Credit Unionet, dance, environmental club, and speech chorale, Sasha Maxwell. <laughs> Additional mathematics, biology, chemistry, history, information technology, mathematics, physics, Religion, Spanish, award for most outstanding in chemistry to the student with highest yearly average donated by Miss Lucia Sandy. Award for mathematics to the student with the highest average donated by Oscar Insurance Agency. Student with the highest academic average donated by Mr. and Mrs. Norris Prevo. Student with the highest academic average donated by Springfield Trading Limited, Perfect Attendance, Perpetual Health Program, Communication Club, ICT Club, Science Club, Speech Choral, none other than our valedictorian, Karel Josie. Mm -hmm. The Award for Excellence in Accounts to the student with the highest academic average and or passion for principles of accounts, donated by Alicia Wu and family. Steady application, good conduct, girl up club, and photography goes to Paris. Language, Kelisha Lewis. <laughs> Perfect attendance, sign language, and volleyball, Kristen Bruno. <laughs> Steady application, good conduct, girl up club, Brianica Talbot. and Jamelia Hill for Science Club.
Biology, Award for Geography and Chemistry to the student with the highest average in geography and physics donated by a former student, Environmental Club, Girl Up Club, Credit Unionist, and Nyla Esprit. Biology, Good Conduct, Communication Club, Girl Up Club, Science Club, Adalia Regis. <laughs> Award for School Spirit donated by the graduating class of 1997 of the Convent High School. School Spirit, House Leadership, Dance, Drama, Environmental Club, and Science Club, Ciara Andrew. The award for Best Credit Union at Saver to the student with the best saving pattern throughout the student's tenure, donated by the Dominica Cooperative Societies League, Steady Application, Good Conduct, House Leadership, Perpetual Help Program, Credit Union Net, Environmental Club, Science Club, Speech Chorale and Volleyball, Kimani Corbett. <laughs> for Biology, Information Technology, Mathematics, the award for Spanish to the student with the highest academic average donated by Ms. Audrey John Baptist. Credit Union Net, Girl Up Club, ICT Club, Photography, Science Club, Sign Language and Volleyball, Leonette Rodriguez Toledo. <laughs> Biology, Chemistry, English, French, History, Information Technology, Mathematics, Physics, Award for most outstanding in biology to the student with highest yearly average donated by Dr. Ruby Bla. Award for physics to the student with highest yearly average donated by the Dominica Electricity Services Limited. Award for excellence in sciences to the student with highest business average in science donated by La Falaise House. Award for Mathematics and Science to the student with the highest academic average in math, biology, chemistry, and or physics donated by a donor. Award for Mathematics to the student with the highest average donated by a donor. Dr. Sharna Kazimi Award for Chemistry, Communication, and Sports by Dr. Sharna Kazimi. Award for Most Outstanding in French, to the student with the highest academic average, donated by Mrs. Charlene White Christian. Award for excellence in Caribbean history, to the student with the highest academic average, donated by Mrs. Celia Nicholas. Vibian TV Award for excellence in information technology, to the student with the highest academic average, donated by Vibian TV. Student with the second highest average, donated by CHS PTA, essay writing, good conduct, house leadership, 4-H club, communication club, credit union net, ICT club, netball, speech chorale, volleyball, to Adiola Zavio. <laughs> Rene Blaise, choir. Congratulations, Rene. We thank Mrs. Dublin Dangleben for assisting in the distribution of prizes and awards.
The Convent High School recognizes the support and generosity of many individuals, firms, and institutions whose contributions have made possible the presentations of the presentation of prizes and awards. We take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to them. They are listed on the back cover of your programs. Okay. We will now be entertained. We will now be entertained by members of the Form 5 Dance Club.
abusada, abusada, mente. Abusada. This is the moment you've waited for <laughs> You've been searching in the dark Your sweat soaking through the floor <laughs> And buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath Stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you Running at you It's only this moment Don't care what comes after Your fever dream, can't you see? Getting closer Just surrender cause you feel the feeling Taking over It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open It's a picture in the pulpit And your blind devotion There's something breaking at the brick of every wall It's holding all that you know So tell me, do you want
Praise. We now invite Mrs. Josephine Dublin, Superintendent of Catholic Schools, to present the CSEC Awards to students who obtained eight or more grade ones in the 2021 CSEC examinations. Megan Vidal, 10 ones. <laughs> Femi Vital, nine ones. Jade Benjamin, eight ones, one two, and one three. Caden <laughs> Parillo, eight ones, and one two. Thank you, Mrs. Dublin. CHS former students wish to recognize Mrs. Huguette Centillaire for her dedication to music education. Mrs. Centillaire? CHS former students wish to recognize our principal, Miss Isabella Prentice. At this time, we will have a presentation of bouquets and the fruit basket <laughs> to our presenters. Monsignor William John Lewis, representative for His Grace Gabriel Malzer, Apostolic Administrator, Diocese of Rosa, will now address us.
Your Excellency, President Savare, Mrs. Savare, the principal, Ms. Prentice, and the staff of the Convent High School, distinguished guests, the graduating class of 2022, ladies and gentlemen. We've always known that the Convent High School is the most prestigious school in Dominica. <laughs> Catholic school at that. But I was delighted, Mr. Riviere, to hear you admitted today. <laughs> Coming from the Education Department of the Government of Dominica. Thank you, sir. Thank you for telling us that you too recognize the contribution that the Catholic Church has made and continues to make in the development of our country. Each day I live, I want to be a day to give the best of me. Whitney Houston. And then she continues to say, give me that one moment in time. Allow me, dear friends, to take a few words from Chris Widener, a motivational speaker of the United States. And he speaks about the best, and he gives some ideas on what the best is and who the best would be. And I want to begin by saying that I believe that everyone here, not only the graduating class, at some time in our lives, we say we want the best. We want to be the best of who we can be, as some say now, the best version of ourselves. But Chris Widener, in talking about the best, he says, these are some of the criteria that you'd find in the best. And I offer that to you, the graduating class. I mean, I was just filled with emotion as I heard each one of you applauding each other. That as each one went up for their prizes, everybody else blessed them and said, yes, we are with you. We know that you can do it, and you've done it, and we share your joy. The first thing he says is, the bests are optimists. You can't get to the top if you don't think that there is a top, or if you don't think that you can make it. One characteristic of those who reach the peak is that they always believe that things can get better or done better. And this pushes them to be their best. Another quality, he says, is the best have vision. They can see ahead of the pack. Their eyes are unlocked into here and now. They see the bright future and what things will look like when they reach their destination. While working hard for today, they live for the future. He says also that the best relentlessly pursue excellence. The status quo is not for them. They want to be the best and experience the best. And that means giving their best. They go the extra mile so that everything they do, in everything they say and think, they are striving for excellence. He says the best have a lifelong habit of personal growth. This is not the end, this is just the beginning. They don't want to stay at the level they are at. They want to grow in their work, their intellect, their spirituality, their relationships, and in every area in their life. And they discipline themselves to put themselves in situations where they grow. Personal growth doesn't just happen. You choose to grow. The best also understand that they will be pushed by the competition and they welcome it. Like a lead runner in the race who has someone on his heels, the best know that the competition is right behind them. They love it. 
because they know that the competition keeps them from becoming lazy and resting on their laurels. Instead, the competition pushes them to go faster and to achieve more, to remain on the best forging ahead. The best have a quest for leadership. Someone has to lead, and it may as well be me. Those who attain it get there because they want to. They want to lead and help to make a difference. And they want to be equipped with the skills necessary to lead others on to a better place. The best leave a legacy. They aren't in it just for themselves, though they will surely reap the rewards of being the best. Rather, they build things that last beyond themselves, things that can be enjoyed by others as well. The best are adept are the two most important pieces of time and personal management, namely prioritize and execute. First, prioritize your activities. The most important stuff goes at the top. Then execute. Do them. The best focus on building relationships. And for you, dear friends, I want to say first, build that relationship with the Lord. Let him be the one who guides you. Build that relationship with the Holy Spirit. The best understand that success does not come alone. Everyone who achieves must do this with the help of countless others. How do the best get them? They treat them right. They embrace them and help them. People become the best because they help other people and people like them. The best make no excuses. When they fail, they admit it and they move on. They get back up and do it right the next time. They let their actions speak louder than their words. They stand tall and do the right thing the next time. No excuses, just results. The best understand that the good is the enemy of the best. Yes, they could say this is good, but that would mean that they have settled for less than the best. Many people think that good is enough. Good is never enough. I want the best. And the best dare to dream. While others live in the mundane and settle into a life they never bargained for, the best dream for a better life. And when they take the risks necessary to achieve their dreams, then they soar beyond their dreams. And I want to add just one more. The best are not afraid of the truth. The best recognize the well-dressed lie from whomever it comes, and they repudiate it, and they look for the truth, and they believe in the naked truth. And so to come back to Whitney Houston, she says, not only each day I live, I want to be a day to give the best of me. But she continues, and she says, I've lived to be the very best. I want it all, no time for less. I've laid the plans, now lay the chance. Here in my hands, give me one moment in time. When I'm more than I thought I could be. When all of my dreams are heart beat away. And the answers are all up to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Monsignor William John Lewis. At this time, the student with the highest academic average, Kirill Joseph, 
will present the valedictory address. Good afternoon to Your Excellency, Charles Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, and Mrs. Savre, School Chaplain Monsignor William John Lewis, and Delegate of the Apostolic Administrator, Mrs. Josephine Dublin, Superintendent of the Catholic School, Honorable Gregory Vere, Representative of the Minister, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Chandler Hyacinth, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Human Resource and Development and Vocational Excellence. Feature speaker, Mrs. Jody Dublin Dangoben, Justice Wynette Andrin Roberts, donors, benefactors, former students, parents, and guardians. Staff, graduating class of 2022, students of the Convent High School and the media. I am honored to have the opportunity to commemorate the action-packed thriller that chronicled our journey here at the Convent High School. Today's ceremony presented under the theme, Soaring Onwards from Adversity to Achievement, signifies the much anticipated finale of our Convent High School journey. A journey that was no stranger to trials and tribulations, and some would say it had more than its fair share. Our opening chapter started like many others. The initial wonder and gazing at a new environment, peering through the glass windows to be amused at the antics of the pigeons, plopping our now useful textbooks into our new individual desk, a step up from primary school days. But only a week later, our now windowless classrooms would have held much more than the eager students and would bear the eerie reminders of a traumatic experience, Hurricane Maria. By the end, we gained an appreciation for the gifts of life and a nature of adaptation that would serve us for the upcoming years. In the second chapter, many of us learned to live with tarpaulins for rule and the collective understanding that rainfall could trigger, could trigger panic and despair. Despite this, little did we know that this would be our only fully normal year of high school or as close to normal as we could get. Our third form experience was interrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And soon, teachers and students alike had to learn how to navigate a new, fully virtual learning environment. For many, this meant that their kitchen table served as an office space, or that they had to tell their siblings to stop hailing so they could unmute their mics to answer questions. <laughs> Fortunately, we were able to develop our skills of time management and independent learning both of which will be useful to us as we continue to navigate the world as young women. In our fourth form year, we were placed into classes based on our chosen academic interests and discovered that perhaps the most challenging of adversities was not developing our knowledge or balancing our varying personalities, but figuring out how to give and get a little sipsion while, your mask, while we keep our mask on. Overcoming that particular challenge required a great degree of discipline and ingenuity, which I am sure we will employ beyond these hallowed halls. By the, fifth, by the fifth chapter, we were once again subjected to the challenges of fully online learning. However, this time, we were expected to apply a greater effort in order to end our novel with the desired flourish. This elicited personal growth and maturity ensuring a great and thorough character development. Despite the pitiable misfortune that seemed to follow us throughout our journey through these halls, we persevered. Even in the times when it may have felt like, despite all our efforts, we were still on the road to failure, in the end, we conquered. Let me be clear that when I say we, I mean all of us sitting here today. Perhaps the greatest secret of writing is that no author is expected to actually work on their own. There is usually a bevy of editors, publishers, muses, and experts who are there to help, to provide support and guidance, a stern lecture, a rousing pep talk, and the occasional cup of coffee. To our team, our parents and guardians, our families, our teachers, our spiritual guides, 
our benefactors, and our well-wishers. We cannot say thank you enough for your tireless work to ensure a productive and stable learning environment. We have truly nurtured into well-rounded individuals. The time you have taken to aid and encourage us to successfully complete this novel has not been wasted. Without you, life would have been much harder than it already was, and your patience and resourcefulness must be highlighted as the foundation for all that we are today. The sacrifices that you all have made do not go unnoticed. Our high school thriller is dedicated with love, gratitude, and respect to all of you. As we saw onwards from these adversities and look forward to more achievements, it is my hope that we recognize that this journey has proven to imitate the adversities of life, adversities that come without warning. We dealt with the aftermath of Hurricane Maria, the repercussions of a global pandemic, and the novelty of fully online learning, a great deal of plot twist. The difference, though, is in the comfort that these walls have provided for us. Jokes to laugh at, shoulders to cry on, mutual understanding, and an unmatched camaraderie which gave us the resolve to carry on. Post high school life does not offer these privileges. So we must face it with the same determination and perseverance that we have exercised these past few years. Unfortunately, these may not be the worst of the battles you face, and they undoubtedly will not be the last. There will be times of hardship and distress, and in those times you should remember that you are never given more than you can handle. We must always know and be grateful for the fact that God is on our side. And with him, we are destined to not only survive, but to flourish in the most spectacular of fashions. In the famed words of civil rights leader Mahatma Gandhi, we find age-old solace. Joy lies in the fight, in the attempt, in the suffering involved, not in the victory itself. Gandhi expresses a desire that is held for each of us, that we may find joy in the struggles of the journey. I hope that in the years you have spent at the convent high school, you have found joy woven throughout the struggles and adversity. I also hope that you are able to end this novel peacefully and notice that it bears the hallmarks of a bestseller. If you take anything from this speech, let it be that despite the adversities that life presents, we must always remain steadfast in the fight. The sentiments of famous Mexican painter Frida Kahlo are more than fitting to sit on the back cover of our novels. We can endure much more than we think we can. This graduating class is a testament to just how much one can endure, and most importantly, what one can achieve despite it all. Class of 2022, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I truly cannot wait to read your next bestseller. The future beckons bright, so onwards we must go. May all of us continue to turn our adversities into simply marvelous achievements. Thank you. That was awesome, Kirill. Okay. So the graduating class of 2021-2022 will now sing a medley of One Step at a Time by Jordan Sparks and Phase by Colton T.
Could never face me though, yeah. Yeah, they could never face me though. Yes, expectations breed disappointment. And stressing over things you can't control is a problem. Avoid them if you can't wait. No situation is permanent, and nothing bad lasts forever. Oh no. Part of the life, let me all you say. Yeah, my struggle stay my temporary yeah. Yes, I'm my trouble days Cut never fears me Girl, they cut never fears me Oh, yeah They cut never fears me The monk that struggles on my face And today I must steal All right, right. Steal. Yeah, just believe in yourself Cause faith in ourselves is life On behalf of your teacher, on behalf of everybody, I just want to congratulate you guys. And I mean, once again, congratulations. Thanks for having me. Bless and love everybody. <laughs> okay. You may have your seats. Let me just, okay, we remain standing. So we just want to thank everyone for their support and interest shown here today. And your presence at this 2022 graduation ceremony. We just want to thank all of you. As we end this morning, this afternoon's proceedings rather, let us stand for the school song.
please remain standing to allow His Excellency, Mr. Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre to exit, Monsignor John Lewis, and the other invited guests to exit, followed by the academic recession. Graduates, please note, before you exit the ground, you will be directed to the 360-degree camera area. <laughs> 